what started as a bold idea. We have to try a horror series for seven to 12 year olds. No one has ever done it. Nearly became a complete failure. It sat on the shelves for months. No one noticed it. And then it just took off. How many of you have read at least one Goosebump book? We were selling four million Goosebumps books a month. Goosebumps success would lead to controversy. A popular children's book series sets off an adult controversy. In past, we've seen two great writers, Ronald Dahl and Ian Fleming. Uh, their publishers were editing their novels. Uh, Ronald Dahl's publishing group has decided not to do at this point. Uh, but this is a danger that I have been talking about for quite some time now. And it's not only in the book sense. You also you're talking about movies, uh, you know, entertainment all, all over. Because um, there are people who disagree with items that are written down on paper or on the big screen. They have to put uh, warnings on the header of. Um, certain famous movies like Gone with the Wind. Actually, that is not even a header on Gone with the Wind. There's a five-minute intro apologizing for slavery, but it's, it's, it's just amazing how the, the thought patterns of a lot of these people, and these, these, the people that are, that are pushing this, they need to be put away in mental asylums because they just literally they're Puritans. That's what they are. And it has been warned by several experts. There's, been, there's a book about the new Puritans. And this is, has been going on for quite some time now. Just recently, I saw a warning put on the header of an episode of Stargate SG-1 on Comet TV. And they were talking about viruses and stuff like that. And really the episode, uh, it happens to be the um, the one where they find the girl, fro they find a, a girl from the past frozen and what she was carrying within her uh, infected others and other people got sick, but she was able to heal. So. I mean, it's science fiction, what they were talking about. And it just basically, they slapped on a warning. But now another beloved author by kids who I, you know, really pushed kids to read. I think when these, these started, these, these novels were first coming out, kids were buying them up like crazy. And I still think they still do, even though they've had several movies. I think there's another one coming. But before we get into this article from the New York Post, uh, just want to thank those of you once again on all of our social media platforms. Thank you. Thank you very much for subscribing, liking, sharing, and clicking on this video, most important. And, all, and all, most of all, commenting on these subject matters we discuss on there. Yeah, it has been a little slow lately, but uh, we're starting to pick up a little steam in certain places. Uh, but once again, thank you very much. From the New York Post, Ghostbumps author R.L. Stein says his publisher made woke edits behind his back. Kids horror author R.L. Stein has den denied sanitizing his classic Go Goosebumps books to appease the woke, accusing his publisher of altering his work behind his back. The 79-year-old horror author spoke up after the Times of London claimed that he had censored over a dozen of his bo books to avoid mentions of race or calling the characters fat or crazy. The story is false. I've never changed a word in a Goosebumps book, St Stein stated firmly to a report accusing him of re-editing the books to appease the woke. Instead, the changes were made behind his back, Stein says, in a response to an angry reader who accused him of being shameful for supporting censorship. The stories aren't true. I've never changed a word in Goosebumps, he said again. The second biggest selling books series after Harry Potter. Any changes were never shown to be me, he stressed. 
The changes sparked outrage coming on the heels of woke edits to Ronald Dahl's classic kids' books, as well as plans changes to Ian Fleming's James Bond's books. Unlike those, however, the UK Times initially accused Stein of making the changes. Fox News co contributor Guy Benson said that the changing of Stein's work without his approval was fittingly especially creepy. Altering published works to conform to the ever-shifting standards is more Orwellian than just banning them, he tweeted. The UK Times found that more than 100 edits in ebook versions of the series of 62 books. It noted how one character who act really cool like rappers on MTV videos now just acts really cool. And the description described of having brown skin rather than being African American. Mentions of slave were also removed as well as blackface worn by a character dressed as, as a dark stormy night uh, for Halloween. Characters were no longer Rolly Polly. Plump ones were described as now cheerful. Characters Stein called overweight are now merely huge with one and one with at least six chins, now at least six feet six. A line about schoolgirls having crushes on their headmasters was cut, and a boy who wolf whistled now merely whistled loudly. The UK Times noted, Something dismissed as girl stuff is now just not interesting. Numerous mentions of crazy were cut, replaced with such terms as silly, wild, scary, lost her mind, and stress. The term a real nut is now a real wild one, and a nutcase is weirdo, the outlet noted. Scholastics confirmed to the Post Wednesday that it had made the changes to the series that had brought out millions of kids to reading through humor with just the right amount of scary. Scholastics takes responsibility seriously to continuing bringing the classic adolescent brand to each generation. A rep said, Scholastics reviewed the text to keep the language current and avoid imaging that could negatively impact a young person's view of the, themselves today with particular focus on mental health. Well, you know what that is. Made for the modern era. The publisher did not immediately respond to, to the request on comment, comments on Stein's claim that he was unaware his books had been altered. Others rush to Stein's defense as he continues to face. And this is the thing about it is, this is Book Burn 2.0. People, people will say, well, you're crazy and stuff like that. Here, the third novelist that has been edited. You're changing things that should never, ever be changed. The, let's tell you something. If it wasn't for R.L. Stein, a lot of kids would not be reading today. And, I'm, and, I, and I mean that. And I really truly mean that. Yeah, you could put ads to Harry Potter being the top on that. But if it was R.L. Stein novels that were selling like crazy, every time there was a new release, bookstores packed it in with kids. They, you know, they were running around. I've, I've been in there a couple of times. When a new release, and you hear the kids going, Mom, 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 where's the new book? Where, we got to get the new book. And this is the truth. Kids got excited to read. These books were fun to read. Do not change a word in these books. And, I, and I'll say this. Some companies have become real pussies. Because they've been to these small groups uh, that they hire, there's one or two people that they hire, and they say, no, we, we just can't have that. Left-wing activists, they say, nice hobby that you have. It's a little bit sexist, don't you think? Maybe you better let us in to fix it. We just can't have the words like that. Sure we can. What's wrong with that? It is a story, okay? If it offends you, you do not have to read it. Okay, most of these people that make criticism over a lot of these books and TV series and movies, they have not seen any of this. Understand that. These people will sit there and criticize. It's the same thing with the comic book industry. Look at what has happened to the comic book industry. 
you got people in there they want to change this they want to change that they want to change you know race swap every one of them every character they either want to make them gay or they want to make them black <clears throat> and the thing about it is is that they said well we don't have enough of these characters yeah we do we do they've been there for many years they were there before you were born you know they said we don't have enough female directors but they've always been been there we don't we didn't never had a black studio you know black studio had a company that was just just made black films we did we did many years ago on there it's like every moment they say well we have to break the glass ceiling but we've broken most of these ceilings for m many decades now it's just that people don't talk about it people don't get educated on these situations you know it's it's just like when they were saying one actor says well they don't have enough you know, make uh, movies about uh, women action stars and stuff like that. But they've been there for the, they've been there for many decades. They make it sound like they're the first. We're the first that did this. We're the first that did that. Things have been done for many, many years, and you know what people think of today of how things are. And the way they want to change things is very Orwellian. Okay? And like it says in there, this is the same people that, you know, that they make movies about. Movies like Clockwork Orange and Rollerball and Fahrenheit 451. It's control. It's control that they want. They want to control what you read what what education you should have you know and and the thing about it is now they're trying to attack your children they're coming after your children and people say nah don't say that don't say they're doing this and that yeah they are the proof is there come on how much how much more proof do you need you're going after a book a book writer who basically made kids horror series that it, that is, you know, how many millions of ton, millions of dollars these publishers made off of him, and what we've had two films made up from this, and then you had other companies made stuff that's been similar. You know, this is how you get kids to read. You make good stories, and who cares about what language is in there long, long as it's not something sexual on there that basically like like the books that they've been putting in schools right now for the younger that they're just basically teaching kids how to do sexual positions and shit like that which that should not be in a kid's library or in a grammar school that's not supposed to be there and you know it just it really truly angers me that you that we've come to this point you know would you go out and take grab a classic painting and i've said this before would you grab a classic painting and if you don't like something in the background you take a you airbrush that segment out would you do that to a classic painting These are the jokes that were made on shows like Family Guy and The Simpsons. And even South Park. And they've pro been proven right. Every time. You know, this is nothing but the new Puritans. And they need to go. You know, if they don't like the stuff, write their own. You know why they don't write their own? Because they can't write their own. It has always been a failure. We've seen this day on a daily basis. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I know I have some younger viewers on there. Have you guys read R.L. Stein? And what's your thoughts about it on there? Have you read it recently and seen, seen the edits to his novels? So just let me know in the comments below. 
Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for clicking on this video. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.